Hey guys, so just a quick tip today, I wanted to share a feature that you might not know about called Type Preview. So it's a complete rewrite of the default 3ds Max preview. So by default in 3ds Max, if you go under Tools, Preview, then you go Create Preview Animation or you can do Shift V. Now even though they have improved this in version 2021 of Max, you still can't make a regular MP4 and there's still other limitations. So Tyson, you know, the creator of Typhoon created Type Preview. So again, if you go under Tools, Preview, you get the Create Type Preview, which gives you all of these other settings. Now, you might want to assign the same shortcut to it because you might be used to just hitting Shift V in Max to create a preview. And to do that, you can just go under Customize, Customize User Interface. Then under Category, you wanna find Typhoon down here. And here you have the create type preview action. So you can just click on this hotkey and do shift V and say assign it to the create type preview. And you can just close this. And now every time you wanna create a preview and you do shift V, you will automatically get the type preview. Now this gives you some very nice advanced settings where you can do up to 8K. You can of course, you know, turn on etched faces, anti-aliasing, you can select the shading mode that you want. Then you can do an overlay of the frame number. You can of course pick the camera that you're doing. So right now we're doing perspective. And then probably the best feature is that you can simply create an MP4. So here you would just select the folder where you wanna keep saving the previews into and you would just do create preview. So I just animated the store spinning. I'll just do shift V and set the resolution to 100%, that's fine. You know, standard default shading, create preview, and it will automatically open up that MP4 and here you go. So you don't have to, you know, save the frames, import them into After Effects and all this stuff that we used to have to do. So I absolutely love this feature. It's still free because Typhlo is in beta. So by all means use this. If you found this helpful, as always, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting more of these quick tip videos and I'm sort of testing out some new content ideas for you guys. So let me know if you like these quick tips in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.